Hello golfers, I'm Greg Jones from the Greg Jones Golf Academy here at Fox Meadow Country Club. Hey, welcome back to part two of a four part series. First thing we've got to do is we've got to make sure that when we swing a quarter, half, three quarter swing or any swing less than a full swing that we have the correct setup. So there's two things that we want in every shot. Number one, we want direction control. Number two, we want distance control. In order to get direction control, two things really got to happen. Number one, the club's got to be square at the ball time of impact. But the second thing that's got to happen is, is when I come through, that left hip's got to get out of the way so I can fire my ball towards my target. Well, during a full swing, the reason why that happens is because when I make my right shoulder turn coming through the shot, my left hip fires out of the way. Any swing less than a full swing, though, not really going to get that left hip moving. So this is why that a lot of people don't use this methodology or this strategy of using quarter half and three quarter swing when hitting into uh, the greens or making their approach shots is because it doesn't work for them. So the setup has to change. So in order to get that left side out of the way, what we want to do, instead of our feet being square tip to tip at a dress position, we're going to take that front side, we're going to pull it back an inch and a half to two inches off the line. And then the second thing we're going to do is we're going to turn that left heel just a little bit in towards the center. It's going to give us a little bit more stability, a little bit more balance. So that left foot turning in, we're going to turn it in about a, anywhere between 15 and 25 degrees, depending on you know, how comfortable you are with that left foot turning in. When I get in this position, that left foot being open is now going to allow my left side to get out of the way. If I held that foot here, if you watch the follow through, the left side won't get out of the way, so I fly that elbow, chicken, chicken wing. So we want to make sure that I open that left side up so that my body comes through and I'm able to follow through to my final destination. So again, that's going to give us our direction. Now distance control, again two things on distance control. Number one, I've got to make sure I hold the loft true. And number two, I've got to make sure that I hit a solid shot. So to hit a solid shot, I have to have a descending blow. I have to descend into the ball. And to hold the loft true, my sternum area has to be at the ball at the time of impact. During a full swing, that reacts, again, based off of a correct shoulder turn. But what happens to most golfers are, when they get ready to hit this shorter shot with less than a full swing, quarter, half, or three quarter, they have a tendency to sway a little bit off the ball. And they have a tendency not to get back on the ball. So therefore, they lose the ability to hit down into the shot. And my sternum area is back here, so now I've increased my loft, so there's no consistency in the shot coming off or distance control and consistency. So what we want to do in this setup is we've opened the feet and now at address I'm going to take and put 60% of my weight on my left side. I'm going to kind of set my left butt cheek right down on my left heel and I'm going to put that weight right there in that area. Now what this is going to do for me is it's going to allow me to have a descending blow which is what I need. So when I take this club away I'm not moving my body backwards. I'm keeping 60% of my weight on my left side. But the second thing this is going to do for me is this is going to allow me to hold the loft true. How? Well, when I take this away, as long as I don't move the sternum area back, my impact zone is going to be right where the sternum area is. So if I leave the sternum area here, when I come back down, that loft on the club is going to be true. If I was here, it would be less. If I got here, it'd be more. In either case, I'd probably miss the shot, fat or thin. So I want to make sure that I change this setup. Setup change, a little bit open with that left foot, inch and a half to two inches off the line, and 60% of my weight on my left side is going to allow me to have a descending blow holding the loft true which is then going to allow me to control the distance. So to control the, the distance and the direction, make this setup change. Without it, we're going to miss this shot. Okay. My name is Greg Jones from Greg Jones Golf Academy um, here at uh, Fox Meadow Country Club. Stay tuned or watch part three and part four to start working on this swing so we can start lowering our scores improving our game. Hey, I appreciate you all watching. Uh, hit the like, uh, subscribe button down below so that you can see all of our series. And I look forward to uh, you tuning in to additional videos.